In today's very special episode, I make three soaps all containing my favorite scent note, and then I get ready for a date night with Kale where we go thrifting and have dinner at a new place. All of that and more in Vlogmas Day 10. Good morning. Kale and I saw a comet last night. I have this cool app called Night Sky, and I use it to look at the constellations and stuff in the sky. And Kale was looking at it yesterday, last night, and then we saw this, and I was like, I've never seen this show up before on the app. And this object is a comet, and it's 263P Gibbs is the name of this comet. So we rushed out and looked out our window and saw the faintest little dot. That was a magical moment I wanted to share with you guys today. Gibbs, there's a comet named after you. Isn't that amazing? Aren't you so impressed with that? I just finished uploading Vlogmas Day 9's video and it's scheduled to go up at 3 p.m. Mountain Time. I used to schedule my videos to go up at 11 a.m. Mountain Time, but one day, on accident, I didn't mean to do this, I think I was running late or something, I scheduled it to post at 3, and the initial views were much better at that time, so I've been posting at that time ever since, and it's been working really well. Mm. But now that that's up, it is time to get ready for the day. I wash this robe, I promise, every once in a while. <laughs> for those wondering, man, she wears that robe a lot. So here's the before face, and here's after. I have these brown daisy earrings with a bow at the top. And I have the same earring, but this one has a cuff up here on the other side. And the really pretty heart necklace that I got from Ana Luisa. I'm feeling a little bit better today. I'm still feeling kind of sniffly. Not 100%, but we're getting there. Today, I'm going to be pouring three different soaps. So I'm going to take you along with me for that. And then today, it's Friday, so that means date night. You're coming along with Kale and I on a date night. He's choosing the restaurant. Kale has been so kind and he pre-mixed my lye and oils. Everything here is ready for me to start. I need to get the oils out of the big melter. And I usually do it using the spout but sometimes it takes way too long. So a quicker way of doing that is to just pour really fast and pray. Woo, that was a good pour. Minimum oil spillage. So Kale measured out my melted oils here in this bucket. I'm gonna combine all of my oils and butters together like that. So today's soaps are going to be my French lavender, my lavender cedar wood, and my rosemary mint soap. Two of those soaps are just scented with essential oils. Another thing I pray about <laughs> when I'm pouring this into here is that it's the amount that I'm expecting. There might have been times where I poured it and oh, that's when I realized I've forgotten some of the shea butter. <laughs> Let's position this exactly right. Sometimes I forget I put a little bit into a measuring cup and I've set it to the side and I panic. But we've got a little bit more here. Ooh. And we're good. Awesome. Good job, Kale. So we're ready to mix the lye with my oils and butters. Don't forget to put on your glasses and protect your eyes. The first soap we're doing today is rosemary mint. Just pouring this guy into here. Kale used a really small bucket for this. That's okay, we'll make it work. We just have to now emulsify everything together in this really full bucket. And the stuff floating in the bucket is Kaylin clay. Let's burp it. Oh, we got a burp there. And then we start to emulsify. And these three soaps today that I'm making are the least stressful soaps that I make because none of these friggin' oils or essential oil blends accelerate. They actually move quite slow, all three of them. So it's nice, I'm taking a bit of a break from panicked soap making, but you never know what'll happen, right? 
you never know. So a bit of a mix up, that thing that I was pouring into the orange and the white color was actually water, not the fragrance oil. So I mentioned with the rosemary mint and the lavender cedarwood soap that they were just essential oils. I have the rosemary mint essential oil blend right here and I'm going to just put in half of it, just eyeball it, it's about half right there. Then I'm just going to blend this again. Gonna bring out my trusty Winston and Walter mold. Get that right in the center of my frame there. And pour the first half of the soap, which is an uncolored layer. So satisfying. It's also really relaxing because of the essential oils. It smells so good. Rosemary Mint is actually one of my favorite essential oil soaps that I make. The Lavender Cedar Wood one is okay, but Nowhere near as good, in my opinion. All right, so now that we have that first half done, let's move that aside and then prepare the rest of the colors. I have my containers here for that. I'm gonna wipe as I go. I'm getting better at that. I'm getting better at staying neat. And I'm gonna pour the rest of the essential oil blend into the rest of my soap batter. I'm just going to mix it to incorporate. All right, that's all mixed in. Let's into my containers. And now for my colors, we're gonna color one of the big ones in spirulina. This is just spirulina powder. You can find this anywhere. And I use about a teaspoon to get that dark green color. And then some indigo, which is a gorgeous dark blue color. We're just gonna do a light green that we're gonna make by just doing a little bit of spirulina. And then we're going to blend. You see how I got that variation in green just by adding a little bit more spirulina? Now we're gonna start to pour into our soap mold down our soap that we've splattered. This is the perfect rate of acceleration, in my opinion. It's not globbing up on me. Let's get some more light, there we go. And the swirls in my rosemary mint soap always look very defined, very beautiful. But one thing you'll wanna do if you use spirulina as a colorant is to keep that soap away from sunlight. It will fade that spirulina. So to keep it that intense green color, store your soaps in the dark. I generally store my cold process soaps in the dark. I don't like sun really touching any of my products while, I'm, while they're in storage. And the colors of your soaps, whether you use spirulina or other botanicals or even micas, storing them in darkness is always a good idea. And this soap is loved by both men and women, but I find that a lot of men are drawn to it more so. I think the green color plays a role. And rosemary is really earthy, very grounded. Here is the blue spirulina, or sorry, here is the blue indigo. For the Uline jars that came broken, Uline is going to be replacing them free of charge. So if any of your jars from Uline arrive broken, definitely call customer service and they will be very helpful to you. At least that's what we, that's the impression we got. They were very helpful. That video is going up in an hour or so and I'm excited for you guys to watch it. A lot of you have been really enjoying these vlog style videos. So I'm wondering if in 2023, I continue in this format because I did create a vlog channel the Zimmerman life, <laughs> which I have kind of abandoned. I don't know, it was getting to be too much, the two channels. But if I just continue vlogging here and give Kale the Zimmerman life channel for him to cook on or to post his own content on, which we have thrown out that question to you guys and you guys have been very responsive to the idea of Kale making his own cooking channel. I think we're just going to let him 
take over that channel and use it whatever he wants to do with it mostly cooking he'll probably use it to cook we thought of a few fun names for him for his channel like kale's crock pot or <laughs> crock pot kale chef kale the good news is that his name starts with a c it's very cooking channel friendly there are so many things you can make that start with c there are so many seafoods out there like c the letter c so we're excited about that prospect he is such a great help to my soap business i'm very very grateful so now that i've added all of my soap into the mold i'm gonna do my swirls let me get you closer for the swirls this is a really fun part And because this soap accelerates at such a beautiful pace, I can make these beautiful textured swirls and not feel that panic <laughs> that I usually feel, where I'm just throwing the soap in and hoping for the best. Let me clean off the edge. I'm gonna finish it off with some cornflower petals, and that should be it for this soap. For the other two, I'm going to just show a few clips. Enjoy the quick pour of lavender cedarwood and French lavender soap. So here are the soaps all poured. And yes, I have two versions of lavender that I sell. And I've been doing this for years now. Both sell equally well. One is a lavender essential oil soap. The other is a fragrance oil lavender soap. They both have the word lavender in their name. And yet they both sell. For a while I was thinking I should phase one out and only make one. But because they just kept selling really well, I decided 
why should I take one away? Give the people what they want. And in fact, I actually also have a lavender note in my rosemary mint, so can you tell that I really like lavender? So I've been making these soaps for years, they've been selling well for years, and they're probably gonna stay on my line for many years to come. But now that that is poured, we have packages that we need to bring over to the post office. And also, we have a date night that we need to get to. So let's go upstairs and see what Kayla's up to. Oh, sleepy puppy. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? What are you up to? Good, good. Uh, I've fulfilled some orders and now I'm just doing business stuff online, responding to messages, responding to emails. Did you want to head to the post office and go to date night from the post office or do we do post office, come home, and then date night? Let's come home in between. Okay, cool. Let's take Gibbs with us then. You like a good car ride, a huh, sweet boy. What's that? <laughs> These are the seven jars from Uline that they replaced. But the wrap is still out there in the driveway. Um, so, uh oh. You definitely need to get Uline on speed dial. I guess there still is another 35 minutes in the day. Here are all the packages. There's the shrink wrap on a skid in front of our house. We should probably take it in before we leave, even though there's only like another half hour in the window. Like, I, I think so. I I don't think that they're gonna come. I think there was some sort of like I think they left it. Yeah. Phone calls. Like, I agree. <laughs> was that heavy? Do you have enough room? <laughs> yep. You look like you're over the giant roll of bubble wrap. <laughs> I'm I'm over of that wow. taking a square footage in our house. Me on a Monday. The thing's been like blowed over for like last week. Yeah. I want to go prop it up for them. Hey guys, come into my closet and help me pick something for date night to wear. I was thinking since it's chilly out, I want to wear a cozy cardigan. That's usually my go-to when it comes to my usual style. Something like this, something fun and cute. And then I also have these as well. These pretty floral shirts that I haven't gotten a chance to wear anywhere. So let's try a few out and see how they look. So this is the outfit I decided on for date night. A nice cozy yellow cardigan, the really gorgeous cropped peasant top, which I think looks perfect with these high rise skinny jeans. Now to fix my hair. So for my hair, I think I'll wear it down. It's day two hair, so it's not as clean as I'd like it to be, but that's okay. Soak up some of this oil. I use dry shampoo. I love this stuff. I've tried different dry shampoos, even very expensive ones, but this one is the absolute best. It's giving me dynasty. It's giving me 80s. Don't worry, I will tame this in a bit. Maybe like a half, half up, half down moment. Okay, okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a black hair tie to get it all up into a half pony. I hope I'm in focus. Cute. And I'm just gonna put these 90s clips into my hair, like these guys. I bought these at Claire's. They're making a comeback, guys. So there's one, put one in there, another in there, or be right back. Look at these wire headbands from Claire's. I saw them selling these and I bought like six of them because they were so cheap. And Claire's always has those amazing like buy three, get three free deals. I 
think this might look better than the clips. They're cute though, but they're more like every day. This in my hair. Cute, I love, love that. And there we go, I'm ready. Ready to go on a date with my husband, woo. This lipstick is Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. And it is the prettiest shade. Like my lips but better, pretty much. Hi! Hello! Happy birthday! Thank you! Happy birthday to our oldest niece. Yes. Did you have a good day? Yeah, it was amazing. Did you have dinner already? No, I'm having Papa Ribs and the special mac and cheese. Yum, I'm so yum, jealous. Yum. I love Papa yum, Riz. Yum. Okay, well, we'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, we love you. I love you too. Okay, bye. bye. She is so cute. So are you ready to go on this date? Yeah, let's go. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Hi! Hi! <laughs> I'm Dempsey That restaurant was really really good The pizzas were labeled by like Italian numbers and I said the wrong Italian number <laughs> They brought a pizza out and I'm like, oh. I was like This isn't the shrimp pesto one yeah um, but it was my fault because I need to learn how to count Italian yep but it was a good meal and a really good date night but Kayla and I are going to watch what are we watching right now that show the internet's most hated man on Netflix we watched the first two episodes and so we're down to the last and third one so far it's really good highly recommend it if you want the soap recipes including all of the essential oil combos for each of those soaps and the and all of that and all the colors, everything that I use, that is on my Patreon. Speaking of my Patreon, thank you to my patrons. You guys are so, so generous and kind, especially my bubble BFFs over here in front of Kale's dark vest so that they the names really pop. <laughs> if you want to support the channel by becoming a patron, there is a link down below. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining us for Vlogmas Day. This is day 10. And we will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 11. Bye, guys. Is that poop egg? Poop egg. <laughs> we take, it, take we the dogs out. We have to take the dogs out. <laughs> Hi, Dempsey.